All right, guys, here we are on line three at the Kennett auction. This KBH trailer right here is a 2020 model. Guy from over around Pig, and he brought it over here. And uh, this thing's probably got less than 50,000 miles on it. It's like new. He bought it. Really, it, he wasn't making long enough hauls to justify having it. He's just not getting any use out of it. The tires, they're all like new on it. It's a good looking KBH trailer, real good looking. Like I say, 2020 model probably got less than 50,000 miles on it then we got this fuel truck will be the next thing to sell right here it's going to be titled i believe is an 03 model it's a six speed transmission it has five compartments two fuel pumps on the back of it the bed's a little older it's not a new bed they've just put the bed on the trucks what the deal is there Got the Case IH 245 Magnum, 5,244 hours. Got a receiver on top of it, 50 inch rubber, R1 tires on that rig. This is my little rig right here, 2003 Chevy Tracker, two wheel drive automatic. I'll open the door where y'all can see inside of here. It's got a little four cylinder engine. It's in good shape. I've also got a soft top for it. I've just always kept it in the garage and uh, I just never did like fooling with taking the top on and off. Since they're calling for rain tomorrow, I will have the top on it. Got the title for it. It'll be in the office trailer tomorrow. Like I say, two-wheel drive automatic, four-cylinder, 109,000 miles on it. It's got 109,000 actual. It's a fun little old car. I just, I just, it just sit in the garage this whole past year, and we just never got it out and drove it. So I kind of hate to let it go, um, but somebody else might have more fun with it than I will so there you are y'all bid hope y'all bid good on it because I'm going to sell it so, anyway little fuel wagon brand new fuel wagon right there probably around a thousand gallon fuel trailer next thing we got the two we got a 46 52 wheel drive and a 48 42 wheel drive this 1660 combine right here has got all new tires all around it if you didn't buy anything else you'd be getting the tires that right there has still got the little nipples on the tires same thing on the rears i know most of y'all aren't going to be interested in the 1660 but there's going to be somebody out there now look there's your rear these things were just put on and this guy this is coming up from tommy cooks he's retired same thing on this side y'all pay attention here look there's the tire nipples. Same thing on the rears there too. I'm not gonna walk back here because y'all get the idea. But that's a slick straight old combine. If you just farmed a little bit and you needed a 1660. These headers here are all his heads right here. Come off this same combine. You got the two flexes and the 964 corn head. Same deal, that's his easy trail seed cart right there. 4640, two wheel drive, good rubber on the back. Easy Trail 3400 gas engine. J&M 750. This is all on line three if y'all get out here tomorrow, right out here on the gravel road. I'll turn back away here in a minute where y'all kind of see. 12 row Landall cultivator, 12 row 1720 John Deere planter back here has the insecticide boxes on it. John Deere 4442 wheel drive, 340 case disc. This is going to be on seven and a half inch, around 32 foot is what it is. Another Easy Trail seat cart. Here's another one of these Magnums come from Tommy Cook, 7120, just like the other one on the line two over there, 6,708 hours. Tires look good on it. Straight looking tractor, no damage on the hood. Tommy took good care of his stuff. So this is, he had these two Magnums and he had the 1660 combine down there. Next thing you're gonna see when we we're talking about JC Helms earlier, this is his 1235 planter. And we don't think this thing's probably been over around 1500 acres. Like I said earlier, JC had passed away. And when we had it hooked to the tractor, this thing didn't hardly show any acreage if we were looking at it right. And I can't say that we were, but if we were looking at it right, but this is a 12 row 35, 1235. It's a 12 row 30 inch planter, 12 row 30. Same as the WNA do all right here. 12 row 38, got the Edens bed roller sitting back there behind it. We're gonna skip around here. We got us a little mud hole, it got a little nasty on us. We got a thousand gallon 
water wagon. It's like new. Got the Honda pump on it, mixing tank. 240 CVT belong to JC Helms. Now y'all really need to pay attention right here, especially if you're a peanut farmer. This thing's only got like 1,400 hours on it. 1,400 and some change. R2's on the back. These things are like new. CVT transmission. Nice tractor. Real nice tractor. Got the RTK receiver on top. Let you get one more good look at that right there. Brand new fuel wagon right there, another thousand gallon. Got the tank, got the, I mean, the fuel pump on there with it. Monison 38 inch row planter. All right, we're going to turn back here around on line four. Forty foot bed roller. They're set up on, uh, I believe that's on sixteen row thirties. On sixteen row thirty, same as the seventeen twenty planter back here. Three bushel hopper. Sixteen row thirty. Got the six thirty five D head here next to it. I'm gonna show y'all one deal back here. Got this broadcast hooded sprayer. And that thing is light new. If you're needing a broadcast hooded sprayer, if you're going to be spraying anything that you don't want drifting around, I know a lot of y'all is going to be spraying something you don't need drifting. So y'all might want to come check that out. Got the Crustbuster Twin Row Peanut Planter right there. KBHST 350 cart. Got the conveyor belt. If you're moving peanuts and you got to be careful with them, that might be the thing you're looking for right there. You buy that peanut drill, you better buy that cart right there. Got the case head 2209 and it's a 12 row 38. That's not a 12 row, my bad. Hang on here. That's an 8 row. 8 row head on a Stud King trailer right there. Both the head and the trailers both selling. Alright, guys, after that case head, we got the MacDon FD70 30 foot. That trailer is not going to sell. I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but this. Gearinghoff, I believe is how they say it. Greg, y'all know what I'm talking about. Gearinghoff head. That's got a John Deere hookup on it. 12 row corn head right there. 6,700 high cycles. Gonna sell after the John Deere, or I mean the Gearinghoff corn head. Sewing 6,751 hours on it. Pretty good little high cycle. Easy trail seed car with a gas engine. 3310 Patriot sprayer. Got 3,059 hours on it. This engine has just been redone by Bakers at Piggott, Arkansas. Uh, I'm not really sure what all I know they went through. It had it all tore down. I guess just done a rebuild on it, but got a receiver on it. Next, you got this MX-285 with the front duals on it, 6,500 hours. Looks like it's got 42-inch rubber on it. Case 2412 Cornhead, 30-inch row, 4420 Patriot Sprayer. Showing 4,217 hours. Brant Dual. Right behind it, you got the 12 row John Deere. It's probably a 7,300 planter. And then you got a 1,200 case planter sitting back behind it. Move on down here. You got a 616C corn head. Surely that's on 30s. Ah. I know it's got to be on 30 inch row, but y'all better get out here and measure it because I haven't looked at it that hard. After that, we're going to have the 4930 high cycle. Then we got a 635 flex JMAR trailer. It's going to sell. 630 flex head trailer's going to sell. Vertical tillage tool. MacDon 974 flex draper. All right, guys, I've jumped the corner on you here, and we're on line five now. I'm going to turn this way so y'all can kind of see back down through there. But anyway, got a 7,312 row 38 inch planter. John Deere cultivator behind there, 1,200 case planter behind there. One lot of P85 power units. Looks like we got about a half a dozen of them sitting there. They'll be running tomorrow on sale day. Those are propane dryers to go on your bins. 
another easy trail seed cart case twin row 4025 planter just come in i don't really know anything about that one we got the s67 s670 showing 3046 2129 on the rotor Two eighty-two seventies. Same man brought them in here. They're going to probably just sell choice on those. Got forty-six inch rubber R twos on both of those. He's going down here. We got a lot of traffic out here. This right here, we got a forty thirty-eight sprayer showing two thousand eight hundred and forty-three. Hours on it, another S680 combine, 24, 33 engine, 16, 18 separator. 630 Hydroflex head. Patriot, 3320 sprayer. Showing 4,170 hours on the sprayer. Case flex head. These 8330s come from the same man and they liable to sell choice on them. This right here is showing 6829 on the first one. Got R1s on it, R1s on the second one. This one over here has got the better rubber, but it's got the higher hour, 6895 on both those. Liable to sell choice on those. When they sell choice on these tractors, y'all bid up on the first one because the first one's always cheapest. CP 690 picker showing 746 hours on the engine, 620 hours on the fan. CP 690. R4030 sprayer showing 3,964 hours on it. There's John Young right there showing up late to work. Thanks for joining us, John. Y'all know John, he can't get here on time. All right, 680 combine, 3,048 engine, 2,157 on the separator. That's got the power raise bin on it. Next ditch, you're going to have a 7,760 cotton picker, 3,291 engine, 2,258 on the fan. I'm going to turn the corner. We got a 16 row. Is that a 16 row, John? Yeah. 16 row 30. John Deere Max Motors, 16 row 30, three bushel hoppers. These Susie tracks right here come off of that S680 down here. So if you're looking for some tracks, there you go. This Doosan 225 LC has a thumb on it. I'm not sure the year model. It's got 4,962 hours on it. Mop bucket on the front. Little spray coop. It's got 1496. I don't know if those hours are right or not. I would be second guessing those hours because those might have got those might have should have been put on something else. But they could be right. I haven't looked, but it's 7650 spray coupe. Sign in the window showing 1496, but I don't know if that's right or not. New Holland Cornhead. 1890-1910 cart. And I'm gonna let y'all see this cart back here. It's got the front wheels on it. Got the conveyor belt on the side. 330 case turbo till like new Dickey Vader hooded sprayer after this 330 case turbo till this thing could be it's not brand new but it looks brand new then right behind it you got a couple of 1720s those 12 row 38 three bushel hoppers on those selling past those will be the 4630 sprayer got a starfire ITC receiver on top, but that really probably doesn't mean a whole lot to anybody anymore. 2510 on the hours.